You're watching the news on Bahrain International. I'm Hamid Shaban. Good evening. The Minister of Education, Dr. Majid bin Ali Naimi, stressed that the ministry has upgraded the services of Portal Education Gate in light of the shift to e-learning on a large scale, especially under the exceptional and unprecedented circumstances due to the outbreak of the coronavirus. Dr. Naimi noted that the distance learning experience implemented by the ministry has proven its ability to ensure the sustainability and effectiveness of the education process through developing new educational approaches based on cooperation, exchange of experiences, in addition to pooling of resources and skills. The minister pointed out that the Education Gate is constantly subject to modernization and development through creating e-lessons and online assessment services. The minister said that the number of visits to the Education Gate to date has reached more than 68 million users. He also affirmed that the concerned authorities and the ministry are working on enhancing services to be more efficient and quick in responding to the requirements of the next phase. The minister added that the distinguished Bahraini experience in the field of education was lauded by a number of regional and international organizations. The Minister of Labor and Social Development and Chairman of the Board of Directors of the Family Microfinance House, the FMH, Mr. Jamil bin Mohammed Ali Hamedan, chaired the second meeting of the FMH Board of Directors for the current year that was held virtually. During the meeting, the FMH's annual budget, in addition to the financial statements for the first quarter of this year, were approved. The members also reviewed the results of the FMH's work during the current period of the COVID-19 pandemic and its future plans, which included enhancing the FMH's contribution to the national economy based on its expertise in supporting entrepreneurs and and productive families as FMH achieved operating profits of 79,128 Bahraini dinars. The Board of Directors approved the policies of the FMH to enhance its local status and its role in improving the income level of hundreds of individuals and families with limited income, the elderly, the housewives and the category of job seekers. On this occasion, the Minister of Labor and Social Development affirmed that the FMH's adoption of the proactive methodology for boosting development work has positively contributed to creating more job opportunities for citizens in addition to enhancing the contribution of productive to families and entrepreneurs benefiting from financing services within the national economy cycle. The Minister of Parliamentary Affairs, Ghana bin Fadl al buainain praised the achievements of the effective cooperation between the government and the legislative authorities during a media briefing organized by the National Contact Center in cooperation with the Ministry of Parliamentary Affairs. al buainain lauded the role of this positive cooperation in developing the system of legislations that contribute in serving citizens, meeting their needs and supporting the kingdom's stances in addition to defending its interests in all forms. al buainain also noted the great role the two councils play in extending bridges of cooperation and strengthening friendship ties with friendly countries. He stressed that all the constructive achievements aimed at developing legislative and auditing performances and are the outcome of the fruitful and continuous cooperation and coordination between the legislative and executive authorities in a manner that serves the democratic path of the kingdom. Regarding the use of auditing tools during the third session of the fifth legislative term, the minister stated that 389 proposals have been referred to the government since the beginning of the fifth legislative term, including 167 proposals during the third session. The minister added that the legislative and executive authorities in Bahrain continue to support the comprehensive development process of the kingdom, aspiring that the next session will accomplish more gains that serve the march of national action in all fields. Special Envoy for Climate Affairs Chief Executive of the Supreme Council for the Environment, Dr. Mohammed bin Mubarak bin Dana, has affirmed Bahrain's support to the UAE's request to host the 28th session of the Conference of the Parties, COP28, to the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change, the UNFCCC, in Abu Dhabi in 2023. Dr. bin Dana asserted the Kingdom's confidence in the great and distinguished capabilities of the UAE to host the session and ensure success of the conference in achieving forward-looking goals and backing the international efforts towards climate change. He stressed Bahrain's full support to the UAE's request pointing out the need for concerted efforts of the international community to deal with climate change and its effects. Dr. Medina noted that the UAE's request to host the 28th session of the Conference of the Parties, COP28, to the UNFCC will boost the goals and aspirations of the international community to handle the repercussions of climate change and provide a suitable environment and secure life to maximize the investment opportunities and fast-track sustainable growth. The National Task Force for Combating the Coronavirus COVID-19 has urged parents to register their children who are between the age of 12 and 17 for the vaccine to ensure their health and safety. The medical team stressed the safety of the vaccine on children, noting that according to figures during the recent period, children represent a high percentage of infected people and it is also possible that they are a primary source of infection for those in contact with them, whether in the family or at school. The medical team had earlier announced the approval of the members of the vaccination committee in the kingdom to vaccinate those aged between 12 and 17 with Pfizer-BioNTech vaccine against the coronavirus in two doses. 
National vaccination campaign continues to witness a wide turnout of citizens and residents. The Ministry of Health announced that 905,133 had taken the first dose of the vaccine, while 766,554 had taken the second. The ministry renewed its call for the community to commit to all precautionary measures and take the initiative to register for the coronavirus vaccine. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of active coronavirus cases reached 28,073 with 1,746 recoveries, 2,957 registered new cases. 1,134 of the new registered cases were expatriates, 1,819 were contacts of active cases and four were travel related. The ministry urges everyone to comply with the guidelines issued by the National Task Force for Combating the Coronavirus.